poquito diferente, entonces la verdad por eso me acabo de confundir. Entonces ahora durante el partido, mientras uh, Tosten habla, que es mucho, <ríe> le voy a dar una miradita a ver si termino de entender y les comento. No, I'm saying that you're going to talk more than me for a bit and I'm going to double check right. so I can clear that out. No problem. So yeah, here is like Germany, the German ladies, the German champions in white here, Langen. Having the ball, starting, getting close to the basket. We see here Kati Filov in a scrum coming to the surface. And then let's go on. Here we see an attack from above now. Oh, the first good pass is already a goal. Already scored. It was Maren. Maren. Wow. Good. Janko. No, I mean, she's she really does me. First score here. Already within already the, in the first, first minute. minute. And Crazy. I'm and sure. We just need to need to remember Take, uh, that we are playing two times 50 minutes right now because it's uh, like one of the yes. final matches. Yep. So and this is a super great start here from Langen. Yes. Of course, um, yeah. If you if you are. But <laughs> now they need to stay put lady. because of they course. can't relax because the Orcas are really, side, really dangerous. We also know that the Orca team here is also well experienced. So let's see them. They're also and worried about how to score. And now they are in ball position. Now here with a quick pass coming down. The defender here is in position. And let's see what they can do. Now, of course, they want to equalize quickly. We're playing two times, 15 minutes. We see the Orcas from Colombia here in blue playing against the German champion, Ute Langen. And now here the ball comes to the surface, the, the Langen girls here playing quite physical, bringing the ball to the surface here, passing it down. Now we see here Maren Janko receiving the ball, it was passed almost from the surface here. And this brings a bit of time, bringing the ball here in the midfield, but Colombia here is doing a great job now, getting it back, but they lost it. I'm, I'm quite wondering how, let's say, how easily Colombia, the Colombian girls here from Orcas are losing the ball at the moment. Yeah. At least on the other side, they're like getting it back also easily. So we see like the ball is like from one team to another switching quite fast. There's not one team here having like the ball position for longer, a minute or even longer. It's like just for seconds, just for a couple of passes and then even like uh, the other teams here getting in ball possession and now we see Orcas here quite famous for their long passes around the basket, swimming around the basket. Let's see if they can also turn this into a final score here. Sorry, I'm still checking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And we see here Kati Filov in the scrambling with Orca ladies back on the surface. Ball is stopping. There's a bit more time here, two times 50 minutes, so no pressure here. <laughs> you can, it even takes that even a bit. Uh, yeah, you can keep the time, but this is also very like let's say energy and brief confusing here. Kati Filov here number 15 easily getting the ball, like stealing the ball, but then another pass, one pass, and then Colombia is back in ball possession. So this is super interesting and super like, uh, yeah, interesting that this ball possession is, is changing that quick. And again, here now, Colombia calming the ball, the Colombian ladies calming the ball a bit down. Almost five minutes played here in the first half of the match. We've seen a quick goal here from Maren Janko in the first minute, and now we can see, now we can see Colombia here having the ball, playing with the ball around for quite a long time. Almost the entire five minutes are now being played and taking place here in the Langen half of the field nevertheless. Langen is here 
with one goal in front so far. Five minutes played. Colombia here attacking a lot from above. But the long ago people yeah. are super so experienced. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm still looking into it, but let's uh, we're going to another schedule with uh, some more data that is not correct now. So let's see how Orcas can recover and they need to start moving the ball and don't let the, the, the Germans get the strength play because they are physically stronger and so easier for them then to swim oh, behind the ball. It here, like the German team Langen is here winning the ball, swimming like four, five, six meters and then passing the ball too unconcentrated away. It was immediately intercepted by Colombia. This is something you need to avoid to save energy and to save like brief and power because we are playing here two times 50 minutes much longer like uh, longer than we had in the, in the previous matches both teams already played today uh, long and now here in a let's say a bit better position with the 1-0 lead on the other hand here Colombia they will I guess also show what they can Yes, yes, yes. I mean, but they are uncovered. But it happened the same in the last game they had. They were playing against, I think, Black Mermaid. Yep. And they actually got a score first. They were one zero behind, and then they won thirty one. But because they were like a bit like sleepy, we would say, not paying attention, and with that kind of game that is not typical from a concentrate uh, Colombian yep. team. <clears throat> I agree. I agree with that. I was also seen. I've also seen the match uh, Orcas against uh, the Black Mermaids, and I was also wondering how they could easily score. It was it looks like a certain mistake in terms of exchanging the goalkeepers. Or the goalkeepers were changing in this moment. This uh, the Swedish girl were like pushing the ball inside the basket, and it was a well well um, executed goal uh, by the Black Mermaids. But um, we. We, we, I was a bit wondering as such that such a mistake is taking part on a, on a, on this Colombian champion here, female champion. But also here, you see these passes. The passes are are partly too long, are partly too wide, and and, and too slow. This makes it so easy to intercept here. These balls, these passes. Both teams here are <clears throat> not very well performing in their passes. Uh, yeah, I think they are nervous. Besides that, they are yeah. tired probably in you know, the last game of the day for them. So. so we have, for example, some also some fans and supporters here in the chat. For, for example, Patricia Spalek, who is cheering for Langen. Also, uh, of course, Colombia supporters like uh, Zelina Gaitan and uh, who is it? Juan Camilo Posada. So greetings here from the commentator station. Uh, we can see you even your your chats and we are following the chat so if you would like to give us some comments or some interaction with us just write a message just write a comment here we see the German champion Langen and White playing against the uh, Colombia champion Orcas in blue we have seen a fast 1-0 lead by Maren Janko in the first minute it was yeah but it was like three or four uh, players from Germany involved, around yeah. the basket yeah. and she just she was got the to ball yeah. put it in and but here we are so this is a very tough match you, you don't see a, a player swimming a lot alone without being attacked by an opponent so this is very physically a lot of swimming performance here in the water nice to watch that we have like let's say half time at the first half time six 30 minutes up late and now we are back in the cola on the orca half of the field and also here it's quite nice to see as we've seen the match before how how many players of both teams are staying underwater at the same time you see here like three white players at the same time three to four blue players staying here underwater and this is on this all the entire time so at least it shows that the player are staying let's say longer underwater than they do with the surface and this is a uh, this is super great sport performance both teams are showing here at least we have not seen a super great chance to score of both teams since the one zero from Langen so here it's super defense orientated of both teams both making here a great job in terms of forechecking and defending 
And here we see, I've seen a pass to Kartifilov, double pass, giving the ball back now. This might just be a chance here. No, you need to break up, but this was also great team performance here with this double pass and this like defender stealing position here invented and started by Kardivilov under the basket of the Orcas team and here again now we see some not so well performed passes but still a player here swimming with the ball being attacked so there's always this one one situation and fights another one Colombia on ball possession, two passes later, 30 seconds later, you see like now uh, Langen in ball possession. Now here we see Antin starting here, attacking, passing the ball and then, but this time, yeah, this is also great what the Colombian team is doing. But you know, it's like they're swimming a lot, swimming a lot right now. It's a bit hectical if you will say so. It's not well organized on both teams, no team could really start it's like let's say it's game like trying to 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 give the yeah to 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 play the game as they want to do this now maybe colombia here calming a bit down trying to get more confident with having the ball here swimming around playing around and now here we have the First wave, pass on the open side, coming back to the close side. Maybe we see here the first chance. Also great how long the players are staying underwater. We've already played more than 10 minutes in the first half. Okay, I saw the mystery. You wanna hear? <laughs> it's two triangulars actually. Uh, um, we have a Karen. Uh, hold on, now I look. Um, Orcas, Langen and a Karen play the triangular for yep. the first, second and third place, yep. so they will be playing all against each other and yep. see what the points they do. And the same is happening for the mermaids, uh, Vienna and Amaga for 4, 5 or 6. Alright, cool. And then 7 and 8, 9 and 10 are going yep. to be played tomorrow, okay? Super crazy. So this, this is, is the first game of the triangular. So let's, let's say won the first match of the female champions cup final as we have heard is a triangle so the best so there are three teams orcas langen and akaren are already one to okay. third place it just depends Give on it. who's who at the end one second i'm going to explain that to the yeah. colombia chicos in colombia bueno acabo de, re, de entender cómo funciona la cosa entonces si sí, estamos haciendo como el año pasado estamos jugando triangulares entonces las chicas de orcas langen y akaren están jugando triangulares para el primero, segundo y tercer puesto. Van a ser jugar todos contra todos y entonces una acumulación de puntos y que tiene más puntos primer, se, primero, segundo y tercer puesto. Lo mismo está sucediendo con Mermaids, Viena y Amager que están por el cuarto, quinto y sexto puesto en un triangular. Entonces van a jugar todos contra todos y por puntos entonces las posiciones. Y luego queda todavía un partido para definir la posición 7 y 8 y la posición 9 y 10 de los 10 equipos. Más claro, echenle agua. Ok, let's continue. Yeah. Now we had a time out from the Orcas. Now they have taken the time out. There will be no further time out for Orcas here during the entire match while Lang is still having their time out. It was one minute break. There are now two minutes, 30 seconds left in this first half of the match. It's a 1-0 lead for Uzi Langen executed or scored by Maren Janko of course it was a, like a team performance but she finally put the ball in in the first minute of the match and now here we have a referee call from the deck referee let's see what they're calling and we see and also oh the ball the basket was stolen here by a, Orca. <laughs> you're, you're speechless. Uh, yeah, 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 speechless definitely. That, that's a big thing to get. I was like get. Sick, uh, looking. What, what, what's going on there? Crazy. You have seen that, that. Like, of course, the referee made a call, and usually the goalkeepers they should be concentrated in their like their tasks in defending the goal. In this situation, they were all interested in what the referee is saying. They saw there might be a short break. 
but uh, the Colombian girls are a lot more awake and saying, oh, yeah. no, we're using this chance. And they we're do that a the lot. They, they close the, they steal the basket a lot. So now th it's a lot of this kind of game we don't like. Yeah. Stopping, fighting, yeah. going to the side face. Surface, Trying yeah. to dive in, move a little bit. Again, another uh, fight in the surface. So now we have Germany trying to do a counter-attack but being forechecked by the Colombians. They cannot just swim through. We have three Colombians and two Germans trying to just pass the half of the of the pool. And here we are in the last minute of the first half of this first final of the day or the tournament, <laughs> even the tournament. Already less than a minute for the first half. Still we have seen like a, a very physical first half. But not to be honest, so super exciting first time. No, no, the first it's just it's super cannot, early. Yeah. And and now like it's too stopped. It's yeah. too stopped game. I mean that's too much at the surface in the middle and up. And now we have a counter attack from one of the players. I think it's Silvia, que está intentando llegar peleándose contra tres alemanas. And now past the ball, they are now in the corner. They have ten seconds. If they want to attack, it has to do it now or then it's going to be the end of the first half. Four, three, two, one. Now we are in the halftime. And maybe we're making a short summary for the German spectators as well. So, bei den Deutschen, hier ganz kurz die Zusammenfassung. Wir spielen hier die erste Halbzeit des quasi des ersten Finales. Es spielen drei Mannschaften. Die Damen aus Norwegen, Ackeren, die Damen aus Kolumbien, Orcas und die deutschen Damen aus Langen. Diese drei Mannschaften spielen gegeneinander. Die Mannschaft mit dem besten Resultat aus diesen drei Spielen ist hier der Sieger des Champions Cups. Aktuell steht es 1-0 für die Damen aus Langen. Maren Janko erzielte das Tor in der ersten Minute. Es war ein massiver Angriff. Ähm, Gleich drei Damen waren hier involviert. Am Ende war es Maren Ranko, die über die offene Seite den Ball reinpottete und ihre Mannschaft hier in Führung brachte. Im weiteren Spielverlauf haben wir sehr physisches Spiel gesehen, sehr viele Sprints auf beiden Seiten. Letztendlich aber keine klare weitere Torchance für keine der beiden Teams. Wir spielen jetzt zweimal 15 Minuten. Die Spielzeit ist etwas verlängert. Wir sind jetzt in der Halbzeit und äh, sind gespannt, wie es jetzt hier in der zweiten Halbzeit weitergeht. Yep. Uh, <laughs> allerdings. Um, so the transmission has stopped for a few seconds apparently, but we are well now, everybody watching. We have 150 viewers. Uh, please uh, let us know from where you are watching again. Haben wir deutsche Zuschauer, die hier die Familien, die unterstützen die Mädels uh, von Langen. Tenemos la gente de Colombia mirando, apoyando, hay son un poquito más... Uh, uh, comunicativos, huh? the, the Colombians already started expressing themselves, you know, <laughs> the German fans are a bit more quiet, so let us know where you are and who are you um, watching for. And now we're seeing here right now, um, yeah, the German ladies here, Langen in white, sitting together here outside of the water, we see in the middle Laura Büchner, she's coaching a bit the team. And then telling about what she what she uh, is not what she's disliking, what she's not liking about her the performance. On the other side, you see the Colombian girls here, the Orcas. And a bit Federico, which is the trainer. Yeah, trainer. they are like more closer together. They're like just hanging around you a bit in the on the water, making their team shout. Um, it's quite interesting to see these different patterns here. It's yeah. just coming together. Yeah. So like. This, uh, the, the girls here from Germany are standing, they're super strict, like military or like, <laughs> On the other hand, you have the orcas, it's like there's a pillow area, yeah. you know, they're chilling, relaxing, being a bit like this lady squad here, uh, making a pajama party. But no. it's, different. it's different, but it is what it is. Both so is, uh, funny. Yeah, both is allowed, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Now, second half, 50 minutes left. 50 minutes in the second half in this first triangle final in the female. A ver, vamos a ver, la gente de Colombia, o sea, 1 a 0 vienen perdiendo las chicas y la verdad que el ataque de Alemania fue bien fuerte, tenían como tres o cuatro jugadores y finalmente una de ellas metió el gol en el primer minuto. Esto es una de las tácticas que las alemanas utilizan mucho, de la misma forma que las noruegas tratan de usar eh, 
¿cómo se llama esto? El, el efecto sorpresa del primer minuto donde por ahí uno está tratando de, de testear el agua y ver qué pasa y eso es, intenta meter el gol en ese minuto y después, bueno, continuar con el juego. Nosotros sabemos que las chicas de Colombia pueden jugar un juego más rápido, mover la pelota más, les pasó lo mismo en el último juego donde al principio hicieron medias dormidas, de, metieron un gol y luego metieron tres, entonces todo es posible. I try to speak as fast as possible. So now we continue in English. I'm just saying that the same happened to Colombia the last game, where they were a bit kind of sleepy and slow with the first half, and they got a, a goal, and then they won 3-1. I'm not saying that this is going to be that easy, and it wasn't easy at that moment, but I just know that Colombia has a different tactic and speed and faster game that they are not just using now. So let's see if it's because the Germans are very good and disrupting this game or it's just because they are not focused and not really there. Let's see which team can firstly establish their game start in the, the water. We've seen like Langen starting in the first half massive attacking the opponent score. Let's see if it will be the same pattern in the second half if they also try now to make another goal from the very beginning. Yeah, well, this is, you know, the, what I was saying in Spanish, that the Germans, as, the, as well as the Norwegians, try to use this surprise effect yeah. and try to score in the, within the first minute, yeah. when the other team maybe is still tasting the water, see how it's going to be, they try to come and do it in that moment, and they, yeah, the, 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 the Norwegians uh, have exactly the same tactic. So here we are, second half, 15 minutes left. And uh, apparently the big fight there in the middle. Um, Again. The cluster <laughs> there, uh, three, the this is three, this is two. One of the Colombians is just waiting for the ball to fall and then one of the German girls just is above in between. <laughs> and who recovered the ball is the Colombian team, but it just got into the hands. <laughs> But it was intercepted by one of the German players. Still in the middle, still fighting. Almost one minute gone, and now Colombia has the ball and is trying to advance. We are now in the half of Langen, but the Orcas just lost the ball, and I probably the ball just went out of the playing area, I would say. Yeah. Yes, and the thing is, it's going to be a free throw for in Colombia, Colombia, in favor for Colombia. And we have Maren there in position defending, Ria just getting a position at the goal, and now Silvia from Colombia coming from the close corner. And let's see, I mean Colombia needs to be clever here and not just go in without a plan. We have already three players, two players right, left and above. The ball is somewhere there, we can't see it, but Langeners are doing everything they can to bring this ball as far away as possible. And they are in the surface. Now the ball is back in Colombian hands and the, I think it's Silvia attacking from above, trying to pass it down. But she did not success, I think Germany intercepted that pass and now is trying to swim away. But this was the first good yeah, like more, more active. From Colombia, yeah. yeah, super more active. So it, we have not seen such a pattern in the first half, I will say so. So this was also a good start for Colombia here in the second half. On the other hand, we see like uh, the Langen girls here. Um, yeah, they, they, they let them play the Orcas, but at least they, they, there was not a clear chance. Let's so far, both teams are uh, quite equal. Bobby Simonson, let me check, he's asking was the last time a team that it was no Norway or Germany won the Champions Cup and I think that was Colombia in 2010, yes, and I have the, the, the cup behind me so I just checked and I was right. Everyone, I mean it was also, mm, yeah, just Norway and Germany, so except far. for 2010 when the Orcas won, yeah. And again, all three, all these like three teams, not three teams, but let's say countries with their national champion participant are again here in this finals. So we will be also, we will not have a new champion in total, so there will be no like, let's say, surprise. It will be at least a champion from Colombia, from Germany or from Norway again. Mm -hmm. So, yes. But let's see who will be the strongest team this year. So far here, 
Germany is 1-0 in lead. We remember the first goal, Mar Janko in the first minute it was, and here we are. Great recovery from the German team. Stephanie Nusa here fighting against Sri, but Colombia's junior also quite good in their forechecking. You see that they're super offensive. You see all the players are almost in the middle of the field, so they can like it change super quick from the midfield to the offense. But it makes it super easy here to keep Something's this pressure. Something's happening. The referee on the surface is... Okay, free throw in favor of the Langana team. Let's see. Now here, Colombia needs to be aware that the German team normally try to steal the basket or at least to position themselves and keep the goalie down. So now we have three white Yanko players. here and uh, she's receiving the pass. But she's also here tackled away and Colombia is doing here clearing the situation. Professional and starting to swim on the opponent side of the basket. But this was at least a, a nice try here to place a player at the opponent's basket, of course, on the other hand, you're missing this player to bring the ball towards the basket. So it's always also a risk, but in this situation, it worked, but Colombia was clear, has seen the upcoming situation and reacted correctly and just uh, tackled away the players. And now we are here with a double pass now from Colombia, the first attack here. From the open we side, but four players of Colombia. also still well defended. It's still going on here, the attack. Ball now went to the surface. So this was close, quite close. Not even very close, but a good start for Colombia here in the second half. Let's see now. Lange needs to take care here to that not was a little bit risky. Yeah. yeah, this was very aggressive. So Lange is playing here quite more defense than they did in the first half. Well, they're not going to just risk, uh, you know, to lose yeah. the ball, but they need to be maybe better to recover and now to keep the ball playing. Maybe don't do like a complete crazy attack, but stay and... Oh, oh he has a good attack. It's Antin. She, she was, was stopped swimming through the three. basket, but she was stopped. Yeah, by three already. Three Colombian players. So this is crazy. It seems like there is a free spot, like you can just swimming and putting the ball into the empty basket, but then immediately no, no. three yeah, Colombian yeah, players yeah, are going yeah. down and catching you. It was too good to be true. <laughs> so the fixing you and this is ball left crazy. the area and now we have a free throw for the Colombian team. Let's see um, if they can take advantage of a free throw where it's supposed to be. So, And now we have over the corner and now over the open side, pass it back on the other side, but it was intercepted by Katy Bello. Great recovery, and now she's bringing the ball to the surface and trying to, you know, bring it as far away as the basket as possible. We can see there's some call from the referee, and A free throw, throw for line. the Colombian for Orcas. Short summary for the Germans. We sind hier nochmal im quasi ersten Finalspiel. Es spielt Langen aus Deutschland gegen Orcas aus Kolumbien. Langen führt mit 1-0 durch ein Tor von Maren Janko in der ersten Minute. Eine gute Team-Performance. Äh, jetzt in der zweiten Hälfte aber Orcas Holding. deutlich Break offensiver. Yeah. Ähm, arbeiten sich deutlich mehr Chancen heraus gerade. Langen muss ja aufpassen, um jetzt nicht irgendwie unglücklich wieder den Ausgleich hinzunehmen. Nichtsdestotrotz, beide Mannschaften hier wirklich auf Augenhöhe. Wir haben noch siebeneinhalb Minuten in der zweiten Hälfte zu spielen und wir sind gespannt, wie es weitergeht. Did something happen again? There was some kind of free throw for a Roughing Langen. or for hitting or, yeah, at least favor for Langen now here. Seven minutes left. But there haven't been such many actions. I mean, attacks no, to the goals. There have been a lot more in the middle and a closer yeah. to the, but... Uh, At least we have seen one action here from Langen. This was this team play with Maren Janko here when she was like stealing the defender she position. She was on the other side and the close Not really close that. 
on the other hand, we have seen like three nice attacking waves from the Orca but, ladies. Yeah. So I think here in the second half, Orcas is closer to score than uh, like the Langen was. But nevertheless, no score so far, no further goal in the second half of this match. But still six and a half minutes left. And now Langen is kind of keeping the ball three meters away. They are taking their sweet time. You know, they're not going to attack just for nothing and lose the ball in the process because then a counter-attack from Orcas could be very dangerous. So they're just now coming from above. I think that was Ria. And pass the ball. And they're now at the close corner. And the Orcas are trying to keep them farther away. Apparently it was attacked to the Masters. The free throw for... Yeah, so Orcas. For the Orcas. So let's now see maybe now. Orcas can come back here. So this also you you know Germany tries to keep the ball in their like within their team. They're blind, they're trying to keep the ball in the corner on the wall side, try to playing around and then you make such mistakes that like just crapping someone's mask, someone like this. This is a foul. This yeah. gives this is gives the ball possession to the opponent team. This gives them even time to breathe so so this is Yeah, but they, they lost the ball already. Yeah. If they really want to take if they want to play time down from the clock, they need to do it more clever. And now the referee is coming to the surface, and let's see what he's doing. Maybe he's giving a warning. Time out. At least he's time out with for Orcas. Time out. Because now they have a free throw in their favor, so now maybe it's the moment to work out the tactic, you know, that some of the teams do when they're losing, and, and see if they can actually take advantage of because the free throw before was like uh, yeah. nothing happened they lost the so let's see maybe put the strongest player in the water yeah. I know Top these kind player. of things there's some teams that do have tactics for this kind of situation yeah. and put the most experienced the better trained players and let them play until they are completely uh, exhausted or they, they score Let's see what they prepared here during the timeout. Of course it makes sense after such a break to bring the, like, let's say, top squad into the water, or well, very well. Um, experienced players, it's waiting. Is this a three throw? Is this a three throw against Langen? We can see here the goalkeeper Antin already like taking the goal position there they're scared already they don't want to be having the basket stolen again so this is quite nice <laughs> again we don't see unfortunately we don't see the ball right now must be at the surface because the referees are looking up so it looks like there's another scrum but here in the middle it's good to see that you have also this what do you know what happened? Offense -orientated game style oh, the ball left the play area. And oh, and is. we have that Steffi. <laughs> yeah, Stephanie Nusser here is like stealing the Orcas basket. And now she's beating. Kati is trying to. Oh, Kati is trying yeah, to. But the uh, goalkeeper. To replace her, there. but it's like, no, it was. The goalkeeper is back on his position. Kati is coming back to the surface. But it was a nice try. And now here we have this. Sylvia went ball for the position. ball. But you see yeah. how massive the Orca team is now attacking there, and the ball got almost close. Fortunately here, yeah. Marin Yanko are having the ball here, bringing it, keeps the ball in his in his team. And again, the back ball at the surface, back in the cluster, and outside of the game area. Four minutes left. Langen, one zero in lead. Colombia needs to score here right now yeah. to bring the game into penalty shooting. So let's see, now they're coming over the close side and we have all of the team of Langen defending Miranda Wooder and trying to get that ball back and bring it up on the surface. The Orcas are trying to recover it, they're underneath the cluster, but I don't see who is so if Katy has it, it's going to be a while until she releases it. And I think I can see her legs, but I'm not sure. Or no, but it's, it's 
Another quarter, Another a lot of courts during this match, and the referee has come back to the surface, it's not a good sign, maybe here we see uh, another warning. He free some throw within three meters for Ortaz. Sending Ortas. some instruction, there's a time out for Langen. Time out maybe for Langen. Can you see the surface, is there maybe... Time out. Give me one second that uh, yeah. the Colombians are asking about how is it with the position. Entonces voy a repetir para las chicas de Colombia, ¿cómo es el tema de las posiciones? Estamos en un triangular que está formado por... Mm -hmm. Now we are back. Okay. Oh, there we are again. Okay, now we are again. So, como estaba diciendo, perdón, entonces tenemos un triangular donde están jugando las chicas de Orcas, Langen y Akaren de Noruega. Y van a jugar todos contra todos y por puntuación, según quién gane y los puntos que hagan, entonces primero, segundo y tercer puesto. Y luego está el segundo triangular por el cuarto, quinto y sexto puesto, que se está jugando entre los equipos de... Eh, Mermaids de, Su de Suecia, Amaga de Dinamarca y Viena de Austria. Ok. And now we are here in the last three minutes of this match. Orcas from Colombia against Langen from Germany. Germany is leading here, or the German ladies here from Langen are leading with 1-0. And we see here in blue Orcas. Let's see, two minutes, 45 seconds, and Langen is really making it difficult for Orcas to get even closer to the basket. I mean, the Colombian girls are really swimming around and trying, but now very well intercepted. The interceptions are super nice. Yeah. You see the goalkeeper, he's yeah. not going to the surface immediately, he's just yeah, leaving going. the basket and trying here to interrupt in the match to make you an action. And sometimes it also happens that you can intercept the ball, and this has happened here so far. But nevertheless, the Orcars, with their players, almost all six players are minimum at the middle of the field or at the opponent half of, this, of, the, uh, of the pool. So you see here they are super close to the ball and super close to the uh, ball leader all the time. And this makes it so easy for them to attack here, for example, in this situation with three players. Nevertheless, here Langen stays underwater like... Super professional, super long and super calm at the same time. Yeah. They're super confident, confidential with their situation here. Um, they look super experienced here doing so. so they're not nervous, playing around, keeping the ball. Now it's just one They're minute, not doing silly mistakes or so they're risking anything. And, and we're we still even here, attacking. Nice pass. On the open side, is this here the decision? It was quite close here. The ball now back at the surface. This was a quick attack and a good opportunity here for the Langen girls. Nevertheless here the Orcas are having the ball right now and maybe here it's the almost last minute. Last minute starting soon so this could be the last proper chance, the last big chance here for the Orcas to start an attack to equalize here in this match. Just one minute left, the last minute in this match. Nevertheless, the Langen they here, have to give absolutely defense, everything. super well structured, they're waiting here, they're staying underwater, keeping their position, and in the moment, Orca tries to come close to the basket, here for example with Steffi Nusser, she's like crapping the ball, and like stopping, now here she attacked again, the ball dropped down, Langen player could like catch the ball and keeps it in there. This is 30 seconds to go and it's, it's 30 seconds. Langen is doing a great job keeping the ball away and and, the, and safe, I mean really. And Orcas don't know anymore how to do, what to do to get really yeah. closer than 2 meters. So it's the last 10 seconds. I think that... And there's another referee call nevertheless. Time is running down. This will be now the end of the match. 2, 1... One seed of four, the German and, team. Uh, Congratulations <laughs> to the German. The German champion, Uzi Langen, is winning here one zero against the girls from Colombia, Orcas club team. And they're making it here uh, closer to their, like, let's say, vision or mission to win the title at the Champions Cup. Nevertheless, still Orca, maybe... It may happen that even Orca could still win this cup. At least this is this triangle you yeah. mentioned before. But so far here there's an advantage on the side of uh, of Langen. So if Langen will win tomorrow against Akkoren, it makes it brings them the victory of this of this camp. So we will see a, if 
let's say so at least we see initially we see uh, Orcas playing against Acker in the morning and then in the afternoon. Let me see. Langen against. Hold on. That's going to be tomorrow yeah. at two thirty. Yeah. Langen Akaren. So and here congratulations Orcas for the German ladies here. They won with the goal from Maren Janko in the first minute of the match. This was the decision. It was a team attack finally. Then it was Maren Janko uh, who put the ball into the basket. And this was the and victory Orcas goal. Orcas Akaren is going to play at 10, sorry. So tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, we see Orcas playing against Akaren. Um, if Akaren, let's say, would win, we would see a real final at... 2.30 tomorrow. Yeah, but that's going to be the last game for the triangle to know yes. who wins. Yeah. But nevertheless, Ute Langen is playing tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. and the Orcas are playing at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. We see you now the next match. That's going to be Firenze and Boston. Yeah. So now the team from Italy, male team against the Boston no, no way. it is uh, female still. Oh, females? Yeah. Ah, all right, sorry. Sorry for the females team. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. Ah, yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's Mac. <laughs> what? Well, <laughs> it's confused because the US team for the girls no, is actually no, Marcos. Correct. No, it's correct. <laughs> and I saw Pudense with the F and then actually there was like men in the water because they had so well. It was like our brains are not really there. <laughs> so we couldn't believe what our eyes were, you know, was a contradiction of information and we could not re decide which one was the correct one even if we had the men swimming yeah. in front of our eyes. Or if that was me, you, you really were more for the men. So Italy played before? We had the last two matches as Firenze Boston and then Connecticut Marcos and Helvetia and that's the female. Mm -hmm. But now we see like the Italian champion Firenze playing against uh, the champion from the USA, Boston, Norway. I, I guess I've been here last year as well. Boston I, played yesterday. I as think well. so, yes. Yeah. It was like in the past, it was for example the New Jersey Hammer, or none, it was the Macrons, and then the New Jersey Hammerheads before. So the first team from the USA has been here was the New Jersey Hammerheads, and then later the Macros. And then later we have now... The girls also from the US Marcos last year. Yeah. yeah. So super nice here with this um, two teams. Uh, Firenze, they lost the previous match against Zurich. Uh, 3-0. It was a close match, even the result was quite high. Uh, nevertheless, we need to... What? Boston lost against uh, Zurich, you said? No, no, no Firenze lost ah, Firenze, Zurich. sorry. And, but we need to we need to remember that like the Firenze team they have a bit like a handicap you can say so because they are just here with one two handicap three, four, five six seven eight nine ten they are just having ten players. No, but the Black Mermaids were playing with nine. Yeah, of course, but, but it's know, hard. Yeah, Gabriele said players, I was Boston I was talking to the captain Gabriele Kiane. Yeah. He said that uh, he is playing defense for the first time All right. ever because he's not a defender and because he's the best. He has not an exchange play, so he's playing through. All right, and this for entire tournament yeah. on that level, yeah. super tough. Yeah. But yeah, I've seen him. To be honest, I've seen him in the previous match against Siri. He was like my player of uh, Italy, uh, of the Firenze team, because he was like super engaged. Of course, he was all, always in the water, but he was also super successful in his actions. He was like winning the ball, executing, he was attacking, he was like trying no. to defend the penalty. So he was like, a, it was a one-man show. You can I, I, I have to be honest that when I had to play also through because the mayor was very well trained and we had really not enough people, uh, I sometimes even played better than I mind changing because this time outside sometimes and being in and out, it could bring you out of a game and if you're all the time in then you find a rhythm and a pace and but you need to have the condition for that if you don't have the condition then you are dead within the first five minutes 
But now we are going back to two times 10 minutes, the two times 50 minutes we have just for the, let's say, final, mm, final round for the first place. Um, in the normal matches here during the Champions Cup, we are playing two times 10 minutes, so we have we need to change, like you see it in the <coughs> at the top of the screen, to adapt and adjust the, the time.